Or you're eating off their heads. <laughs> uh oh, Oscar's got one leg through. He's Yes. Try not to eat Oscar's ear striker. The fallen trees down here don't bother me too much, mostly because they're just on the other side of the fence, so they're not my responsibility. But I do have an idea for how to use some of that mess in a productive way. The cows that occasionally graze back here have nibbled on this stump nurse log tree. That's why I've got this temporary fence up, just to protect it until it can get a little bit more well established. I think I can use some of this to create a more natural looking barrier to cows. Around this, our very latest stump nurse log tree. It'll look a lot better if the fencing is just a natural fallen log rather than that pretty ugly bent up metal fencing and the gap isn't too big that I have to span to keep the cows out.
And there we have it, a more natural looking barrier for the cows. <sighs> a lot of work. <laughs> Uh. All right, I've had a chance to rest after blocking off this side. Now let's see about the other one, so the cows don't just walk around from the other side. First, there's a couple of ways I could have done this. I could have interlaced a whole lot of smaller branches, and that might have worked, and it certainly would have been a whole lot easier to get up that steep slope, but smaller branches may have crumbled over time faster than I would have needed them to remain in place. There's no danger of that with these monsters here. Big thick maple, it's gonna last as long as that tree stump will. I could have also buried some medium sized sticks like a picket fence of stakes. And that would have looked nice and intentional, but buried sticks do have a tendency to rot off at ground level fairly quickly. So that might not have lasted as long as I would have needed it to either. Plus I was a little afraid that cows could have just pushed stakes like that over if they wanted to get at anything on the other side. Here's another way to make a nature-inspired cow fence. Pretty easy. Here's what it looks like from a cow's eye view. Since I've got my chainsaw out, I thought I'd take care of this. This actually isn't a tree. The same storm that brought down all those other trees and branches happened to drop this very large branch straight down. It stabbed itself into the ground so deep and well that I just simply haven't been able to pull it out of the ground. I was hoping to be able to pull it out now that we've had a lot of rain and the ground is a little softer, but still no luck. So I'm just gonna cut it right off at the ground with the chainsaw. There aren't really any leaves on these branches, so no treats for the goats either. This will just go up the hill and get chopped up for chipping and shredding.
As it turned out, the part of that maple branch that was too big for chipping made a really nice addition to our cow fence. <laughs> 